Um, what is it? How do we know that we found a gene for something? It might seem obvious, but in fact it's not. It's a very, very subtle statement. One obvious way that people might think is proof that an attribute is in the DNA, in the genes, is simply that it runs in families. Um, but that isn't necessarily true. Um, here we have a man with a mild genetic disability in that his ears stick out, okay? Um, he has a, a consolation prize in that he is, prince, is or was Prince Andrew of Greece and of Denmark. He had a son, top right, Duke of Edinburgh, check out the ears. Um, his ears stick out. He, too, the Duke of Edinburgh, had a son, Prince Charles, with his customary look of baffled rage, even at the end of five, <laughs> even at the age of five. Check out his ears. Prince Charles, of course, had some children. There they are. Check out the ears of one of them, at least, if not the other. Uh, and you might argue, indeed, that that's some kind of evidence that there's a gene in the family which is passed from one generation to the next and half the children inherit it. Yes, well, maybe. And that's a kind of a very first hint that there might be genes involved. But inheritance itself certainly doesn't say anything about, uh, about, uh, about genetics or whether it's genetic or not. If you look at uh, Prince Charles's older son, Prince William, if everything goes according to plan, he, William, would inherit from Charles something which Charles inherited from his parent uh, and from um, all the way back for several hundred years, which is this, okay? Um, <laughs> which are the royal regalia. And they're, they're passed down the generations following rules as, uh, as rigid as those of Mendel, but there's no genes for crowns. So the simple statement of uh, the simple statement of um, of uh, finding gene, finding inheritance is very very weak.